everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. In this video, I'll be showing you the newly released DeWalt Bluetooth Job Site Pro Max neckband earphones with built-in speakers. I received these straight from DeWalt Mobile Solutions. For your reference, the model number for this product is DXMA1902093, and it is covered by a lifetime limited warranty. With this product, you can listen to music and take incoming calls hands-free. You can switch between earphones and speakers. And because of the open ear listening, you can stay aware of your surroundings. Coincidentally, I was just traveling and I saw a guy at the airport. He was either wearing these or a version just prior to these, so I stopped to ask him how he likes them. He's a heavy equipment operator and he said they lasted a really long time on one charge and they did a really good job canceling out the loud noise around him. He wears these and not typical earplugs. So of course I'll be wearing mine while working with my loud tools in my shop, but it was really nice to get the input of someone who was actually working on a noisy job site. There is a lot of information right here on the box. It talks about 60 plus hours of the earphone runtime. So basically you can charge this and work the entire week and not have to recharge. It is IP56 rated, meaning that it is water resistant and dust resistant. It does have call vibration alerts. So if it is very loud, you can at least feel that your phone is ringing. And it also has built-in open ear speakers. And on the back, it talks about this ergonomic and magnetic design. The speakers provide open ear listening, so you can be aware of your surroundings, flexible comfort neck band right here, uh, EQ modes for specialized sound, music, podcast, movies, and enhanced bass, built-in mic for clear calls in earphone and speaker modes, call vibration feature alerts to incoming calls, and you can easily switch to speaker mode with a single click. I'll be going over all of this. Here are the different attachments that are included. This is what comes inside the package. You're going to get the actual neck band itself. Type C charging cable. Now this does measure three feet long. There's a little container with an array of extra cushions. I'll be showing you those close up here in just a second. There's also a handy little carrying case. It cinches at the top. And if you look at the pouch at the bottom of it, it does have the DeWalt logo in black. Okay, here are the actual cushions that come on it. And there are four of them here. Um, additionally, so if one of these pops off, you lose it, it gets old, whatever, you can replace it. And just pops off like that. Ooh, check that out. You can see there is like a little divot there on the end that holds those on, but they basically just pop back into place. So, okay, there's four like that. Now I'm gonna keep this little case inside that bag. This is the kind of thing that I would tend to lose if I don't keep it all together. So the other ones that come with it, they're secure fit ear cushions. And it looks like those are these guys. And two memory foam ear cushions, which appear to be those. And it just says additional cushions and fins, which they're lumping on the package that and that into that category. So there's some little fins. And it also talks about the cord. All right, so here's the cable, which is not their Kevlar like a lot of the other accessories that I've purchased, but it does seem like it has a nice rubber coating. I'm sure it is nice and strong. Here's both ends of that. So you are gonna need your own power supply. You can plug it into a computer even to charge. I'll walk you through each part starting at the bottom, then I'll go over each of the functions in greater detail in just a minute. Okay, so starting on the right side, here's the charging port right here. It says replace port cover after charging. You don't wanna get any dust in there. This just folds back like that, and that's how you recharge it. The LED indicator is very tiny, but under different lighting, it would be easier to see. I'm gonna push the on and off button and it is there and it does flash. And then you're going to work your way up to the volume controls, the volume up and down. Here is the power button. Power off. Okay, so here are the speakers if you listen through the neck band. And then here are each of the earphones. And as you can see, 
Everything is tethered together. The earphones do have a magnetic component to them so they can attach and you can either wear them forward or if they get in your way, you can probably put them behind your neck. This is nice and ergonomic. And on the other side, there is the speaker earphones mode and the EQ modes. Speaker mode. And if you forget any of these functions, it is labeled additionally on the bottom. I'm going to cover some of the key operating functions next. You'll need to fully charge the earphones before the first use by connecting the type C powering cable to the earphones charging port. To pair to a device, place the earphones within around three feet to that device. Power on the earphones by pressing and holding the power key until you see the indicator light alternately flash blue and red. Enable the Bluetooth function on your phone or tablet and search for the DeWalt Pro Max neckband option. After this is complete, your device and your neckband will recognize each other and you won't have to go through those steps again. These are the other functions you will need to be aware of. As I already mentioned, the power button is located right here and to turn it on and off, you just activate it by pressing and holding it down. If you wanna pause what you're listening to, just press it without holding it down. Press it again to resume listening to your song or podcast. You'll also use this power button to answer incoming calls or to hang up by pressing this once. If you wanna reject an incoming call, hold it down for one second. You'll feel a vibration when powering on and off or receiving an incoming call. The power button is also used for using Siri or Google. Just double click it to initiate a voice search. The volume increase or decrease is right here. And just tap the plus and minus. If you're listening to a playlist, you'll use the same plus button, but this time instead of tapping, you'll hold it down to advance to the next track. If you hold the minus button, it'll restart the current track from the beginning. Okay, over here, this little button that has like a musical note on it is used to toggle between the EQ modes and is only used when you're in the earphone mode. The button over here with the speaker icon is used to toggle between speaker mode and earphone mode. However, the default is earphone mode. I'm only covering the basics in this video, so make sure you look over the instruction manual for topics I didn't cover. If you have any questions about this product, leave them for me in the comments. If I don't know the answer personally, I'll reach out to my friends at DeWalt Mobile Solutions. If you're interested in purchasing this product, it does run in the $100 range and is available through the affiliate links attached to this video. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, I hope you'll hit that follow button and look me up. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook as well. As always, I thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.